everybody, it's Domestic Chris here with another episode of Mickey Money Monday. In this week's episode, we're going to talk about, did I get my advanced dining reservations that we talked about last week? So, for the most part, I did. I changed my mind about um, lunch at Hollywood and Vine on the first day we were there at Hollywood Studios, and I instead decided to switch to Primetime Cafe because I haven't been there in many, many years. And it's my aunt's favorite place to go, and we haven't been there together. So we're going to go there. She and my uncle are going to join us, and that's going to be our big thank you for allowing us to stay the night with them the night before we check into our hotel since we are driving down there. Then, sadly, so far, I have not been able to book the hoop de doo review for dinner on January 2nd. I'm assuming that the Christmas crowd right now who has booked in advance already has that booked up. I'm hoping and I keep checking that something will come up. I need to be able to go to the 8.30 slot because that's when Tables in Wonderland can be used. And also, since that's the only time it can be used, I need to get that done before um, we do uh, the race and stuff because that's kind of late for me with having to get up so early in the morning to be going out to dinner. And um, my uncle is off that day, and we're going to Spirit of Aloha the next day for the late dinner show, and that's why I, that's really the only day, Monday the second, that I can do that. So. For now, I have instead um, reservations for Sanaa at the Animal Kingdom Lodge um, a little earlier at like 5.30, so maybe we can get back to the park, or in case something does open up for Hoop to Do Review, I can go ahead and do that. Now, what I have learned about these, and I knew this beforehand, but just FYI, a reminder for you, um, when you book at Hoop to Do Review, Spirit of Aloha Dinner Show, Cinderella's Royal Table, and maybe a few other select dining resorts um, reservations, you have to prepay with a debit or credit card up front. Uh, as far as I know, you're not able to use a Disney gift card. And maybe if you call Disney, you can. Uh, I did my reservations online, and so I have paid for those two dining reservations already. Prepay for those two reservations, and I'll have to prepay for Hoop Do Review when and if that becomes available. They're really good with working with you, though. When I got up at 7 a.m., which is when um, Disney dining reservations become available 180 days out from your um, stay, uh, I accidentally booked myself for 1900 Park Fair for brunch that day, <laughs> and I was able to call and get that changed and they didn't charge me even though you're supposed to cancel like before midnight the night before but she was very understanding and says oh stuff like that happens all the time which I can understand it was like um, sometimes it would hold the date that I had put in while I was searching and sometimes it would go back to that day's date and so I had accidentally just booked for the wrong one but all the other ones were okay and I was able to put our um, glut gluten free um, on there and they have a lots of you that any kind of problems with food at all. They are so wonderful with working with you there. I'm really, really super excited to looking forward to having a worry-free and excellent dining adventure. So, also a few weeks ago, the Lemon Sisters and I met up here in town and we did some videos, one for their channel, one for my channel, and in this video I had a giveaway for a um, Pineapple Dole with Disney inspired candle that Leanne from the Lemon Sisters makes. Her candles smell so good. I've been burning the churro and Main Street Bakering and it's amazing. So. The giveaway is closed now. To enter, you needed to subscribe to both channels and comment on both videos. And those people who have done that are here in my handy dandy 25th anniversary Miss Lee chip pen. And um, anyway, let's get to it. So the winner is Ashley Fahey. I hope I didn't like totally butcher that. F A H E Y. So congratulations. Uh, get me, get with me, domesticchris at gmail.com and let me know your mailing address so that I can send you your candle. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the Lemon Sisters. They're excellent. I absolutely love their channel. They're really great Christian women and I, uh, they have really great, um, videos that they post from their time at Disney. Uh, I found them looking for Disney budgeting tips and really just a great couple of ladies and their channel is really fun. So check them out. Also, I saved this week. 
$61.12. I had $46.12 in Disney Dream Rewards on my Disney Chase Visa um, card statement. And then I also saved $15 in AMC Stubbs Rewards from when we went to see the BFG. I had them just deduct that from my ticket purchase. And I was going to go to the movie anyway. So um, I gave that money back to myself. It was a really good movie. We had just finished listening to the BFG on our way out of town to visit family. And then we watched the movie with our family and really enjoyed it. There's minor differences as there always is between the book and the movie, but the movie did an excellent job of staying very true to the story and I thoroughly enjoyed it. My kids loved it um, and they are five and six and I was a little nervous, but after we listened to the story, they were excited to see the movie and we really enjoyed it. So definitely check it out. So that's all I have for you guys this week. But I want you to know that I also have happening this week a uh, collaboration with six other YouTube channels where we're talking about our Disney pin stories. You know, if you collect Disney pins, most if not all of them or at least one or two of them have a special story, a reason why you bought that pin. And so we have come together to share our favorite Disney pin stories and why they're special to us. So my first video went up earlier today and at the comments, excuse me, in the description box, it lists the other six channels who will be releasing videos Tuesday through Sunday the rest of the week. So I strongly recommend that you subscribe to those channels so that you'll see their videos when they pop up. Watch the videos, comment, tell us your Disney pen stories if you have them. You can use the hashtag Disney pen story on Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, all the places where you do that, where the cool kids are. And we'd love to hear what your Disney pen stories are too. So please check out that collab. Um, subscribe here if you're new to the channel. Share and tell your friends how they can save money for their Disney trips too. So until next week, I'll see you real soon.